you can be held accountable because you're passing a bad check, you know, fraudulent check, and unfortunately you can be arrested for that. So we don't want you to go to jail, but at the same time we know it's enticing. Officials say they began investigating this case before 2023 when banks began reporting fraudulent checks that followed a pattern. Police say a group stole business checks out of mailboxes, altered them, and cashed them. Individuals were here for a couple days and then they would leave town again for, you know, a month or so and then come back again. Detectives say they use flock cameras like these and input from local shelters to narrow down potential suspects. They were eventually able to identify Ja'Cory Bryant and Kendravis Arnold as possible recruiters and issued arrest warrants for them. They have not yet been arrested. EPD arrested Michael Whitcliffe this week after they say he attempted to cash a check at the People's Bank for about $2,000. The goal was not to arrest our, our local homeless population because in a sense they were kind of being victimized too, they were being targeted. However, letting them know that if you do go through with this and you do cash a fraudulent check, you can be charged as well. Aurora Executive Director Zacharonimus says he's not surprised to hear about the homeless being targeted, but adds it is disheartening. Unhoused individuals and families are the most vulnerable people in our community and oftentimes taken advantage of uh, in ways that you, you couldn't believe. Uh, so uh, it is unfortunate that we are having a situation like this in our community. Instead of seeking these quick wins, seek opportunities for resources in the community.